modeled it after a beetle, it has a few beetle-like attachments. Like all-purpose beetle legs. Dashy, try the leg extenders. Mmm, <laughs> impressive. <laughs> <laughs> I still got a few kinks to work out. Once it's all finished, this pterogup will go anywhere on land we want it to. Just like a beetle. Activate drop. Thanks, Cap. Good luck, Octonauts. All right, are we ready to go? Okay, Tweak. Can we get back? You're now. Good. Let's put this Terragup one to the test. <laughs> Oh my! Hmm, I wonder where Pawnee is. That's strange. According to the OctoWatch tracker, Pawnee should be right there! Octonauts! Like the new Gub? How about the leap? The Gub's leg extenders are fixed. Go ahead and give him a try. We'll do. <laughs> What in the watery world is that? <laughs> it's the new Terra Gup 2. Tweak just built it. I based the design on a giant pangolin. Armored body, digging claws on the front legs, and, as you saw, <laughs> it can roll up into a ball. Let's hope it can handle these rock slides. We better hurry and make sure no creatures get hurt out there. Uh, Barney? No time to waste. We'll cover more ground if we split up. <laughs> he does that kind of thing a lot. Let's roll! <laughs> All you pikers, get in quickly! Hurry! <laughs> Here, take my paw. Oh, thank you. Welcome, fellas. <laughs> Don't worry, it's not so roly poly on the inside. Don't worry, you can ride with us to safety. But our son is missing. We need help finding him. Understood. Honey, keep your eye out for a young Martin. I see him. Oh, 
We should be safe now. <gasps> Mom! Dad! <laughs> Good job. Petey! It's not safe there. You need to get to higher ground. I'm not leaving my haystack. Oh, what's that? Don't you worry, little Peekus. With the help of the Terra Gup 3, we'll get you off of that island faster and you can say bunch of munchy crunchy carrots. <laughs> All right, everyone. I'm going to get a closer look at that glacier. Let's get you to dry land, Beatties. No problem. I can get you and all your grub in one scoop. Over here! Oh, grass, thistle, chickweed, berries. Oh, my snacks are all here. <laughs> all this talk of food's making me hungry, matey. Good thing I brought some kelp cakes along. <laughs> the last haystack in the nick of time. That's what I call a rescue. But if the river keeps rising, the Pikas will get flooded out again. Well, hopefully Dash will find out what's making that glacier melt so fast. Whoa, oh, oh, oh. Oh, yeah. Is everyone all right? Oh, my haystack. Your haystack? What about mine? Oh, you always borrow from my haystack. You've been borrowing from me. What? Walk in and took it. No need to fight. I can fix it. <laughs> you call that fixed? I had 47 berries in my haystack, and now there's only 43. Okay, is that better? Why does he get more berries than me? Dashi to Pearl, I found a glacier that looks unusual. I think you should take a look at this one right away. Send us the location and we'll head up there now. You and Quasi go ahead, Pearl. I still got haystacks to sort out. You think this will work? If there are any more water frogs out there, they'll have a much better chance of hearing you this way. It's coming from downstream. Sit tight, Ernesto. We're going to investigate. There! Oh. Are you Suenka's water frogs? Oh, yes, we are. Oh, dear. You look sick. Shellington, do you think they might have? Mm, yes, they're showing symptoms of the fungus sickness. We do not feel good. My name's Peso, and I'm a medic. I have a special ointment that should make you feel better. Oh, be careful not to touch them. Why? Will we get sick? No, the fungus only affects amphibians like frogs, toads or salamanders. But we don't want to spread it to other locations or to other frogs like Ernesto. I'll be careful. Gracias, senor. Oh, that feels so much better. Good thing, too. Wouldn't want you getting Ernesto sick. Ernesto? Who is Ernesto? Ah, he's your cousin, I suppose. He's been looking for other Sawenkas water frogs like you. Do not know of any other Sawenkas water frogs? When can we meet this Ernesto? Unfortunately, not yet. I'm going to have to quarantine you until the fungus is completely gone from your skins. Quarantine? What is quarantine? You just have to stay in this bubble for a few days until the fungus is all gone so you don't spread the disease to the water or other creatures. We had to use clean water. I tested it to make sure there's no fungus in it. Oh, gracias, Senor Shellington. You're eager to be with another water frog, but we don't want to make him sick like us. That doesn't mean you can't meet him by Octowatch. 
Ernesto, say hello to your new cousins. <laughs> hello. hello! I knew it! I knew that if I just kept calling out that someday I would find a family. Don't leave. No more. Wait, Ernesto! Mi familia! I am coming! Honey! You need to stop Ernesto. There's a fungus in this stream that could make him sick. We'd better keep an eye out for Ernesto before he gets too close to the stream. Already after him. Hello. Oh, have you spotted Ernesto? No, this is a call for help. <laughs> Don't worry. I've got this. Shush, 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 shush. I know you're scared, little guy, but you shouldn't squawk. We try and keep quiet down here on the forest floor. Why do you need to keep quiet? <sighs> because jaguars slink through the branches, hunting for tasty snacks, and it looks like I found one. <gasps> wow, he's fast. <sighs> oh no, we're trapped. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> that would be the Terra Dub 5. I based it on a centipede. It can crawl over, under, around, and through just about anything. Hello, Min. Inky, what are you doing here? <laughs> you said I should see the rainforest for myself. <laughs> Don't be afraid, little one. <laughs> there, all better. Oh, my. He really likes you, Peso. We still need to get him back to his parents. I reckon the Terra Cup 5 can handle the climb. Hold on tight! <laughs> Terra Cup 5 has powerful traps. They can grip down on the tree trunk or just about anything you want to climb. Ah, here's where the river dries out. Just like Min said. Aye, it's all dried up trees, logs, and. Yow! I've got mud all in me boots! Barnacles to Dashy, what can you see from the air? We can see everything, Captain. There's not a cloud in the sky. And that's the problem. No clouds means no rain in the rainforest. From up here, we can see trees drying up and a long row of bare branches that should be leafy and green. And look, that's where the river used to be. We'll keep circling so we can see how much of the forest is affected. Thanks, Dashie. This river brought water to a lot of trees in this part of the rainforest. Now those trees and all the creatures that live in them are in danger. Cheaper, cheaper. Thanks, matey. Just the thing I need to scrape the mud off me boots. I'll just take a seat on this log and... Hey, get off of me. Ah, shiver me whiskers, a haunted log. <laughs> I am no log. I am Caesar the Cayman, sworn protector of this river, and I will defend it to the last. <laughs> or I would if I wasn't stuck in this here mud. Hang on, matey. We'll have you out of this mud in a jiffy. To the Octoray. Wow, look at that. I'm Captain Barnacles. I like to go with the flow. Above and beyond! <laughs> <laughs>